everybody. Standing ovation here again with another break. I got a box of Upper Deck Series 2 22-23 hockey. It's a hobby box. And I've had a lot of fun ripping this in the past. I thought it's time to rip another one. The, um, the rookie selection is, uh, well, again, 22-23 rookies were split up fairly good between Series 1 and Series 2. As I'm making this extended, it hasn't come out yet, so I'm not sure what the checklist there is. I haven't really taken a look at it, but... Uh, that guy, Slavkovsky, number one overall pick, and Shane Wright uh, make their appearance in here. White Johnson's in here. It's got Dylan Holloway, Dylan Gunther. Uh, who am I forgetting? There's, uh, there's a few more. Um, obviously, there's 50 of them, and I just named five, so there's 45 more. What else can you get? You can get uh, a couple of new inserts that are in this year's. There's variations of the inserts. There's um, probably the ones that are least attractive. Actually, I just realized the other day I have... Uh, little nicknames on the instant impressions. Is that what they are? Or, I, yeah, they look like little Polaroid pictures. Uh, but you can always get, it's a hobby box. You can always get all the numbered stuff, per, potentially. Fluorescents are back in Series 2. Um, you never know. You never know what's in a box of Upper Deck. I've, uh, hold on. Where's my knife? Get a little, my dullest knife in the world. It's, uh, it's always in, not too far from me, probably, because... I'm a dull type of person. Okay. Let's get these packs out of here right off the table. And so pack the wrappers can start a flying. Thanks for tuning in. If you haven't already subscribed to me, go ahead and subscribe to my videos and hit the like button and join me for more because I got all sports in here. As I say, I break all the licensed stuff. I am a licensed only type of breaker. I do. I've ripped open non-licensed stuff, but I just came to the conclusion that you know what, for the amount of money you fork out for these guys, you might as well only support the guys that pay the big bucks to get the license and uh, don't pay the same price for stuff that's not licensed. That's just my logic behind it. Some of the uh, non-licensed stuff, too, I just it's not as attractive to me. I'm not a big fan of a lot of Panini product, for that matter, either. But anyway, how come it looks like I have an odd amount of packs? What happened there? Like, let's do, let's do some counting. There's six. And there's six. There's five, and there's seven, and that all adds up. I don't know, it's just weird the way I stacked up there. One looks like it's a fat pack. Maybe it's a jersey card. Yeah, because there's jerseys are back in Series 2 as well. The rookie materials are, they're actually kind of case hits, because you're apparently only going to get two in a case. All right, well, let's see who we can find. The six young guns are always fun to look at. Some of them are not so young this year. I guess Kuzmenko was the one name I was forgetting. He would not qualify for a Calder. So he's about 27. Anyway, here we go. Tarasenko with a cold day in the winter. Outdoor game. It's no longer on the... He's, what, the Rangers? Yep. Felino. James Reimer. Nicholas Roy. There it is. That's the one I was talking about. Instant impressions. Sometimes it's, it, it might say Gino there, I think. I don't know. They put their nicknames down there. I had one that said Brian O. I don't know, instead of Ryan O'Reilly. But I didn't clue in right away. Petey, Forsberg, and Eller. Lars Eller. Let me just lay this in the wrong spot. for. I'm all in an awkward position. Doing yoga while I'm ripping. Okay, yeah, this is a fatter pack. I don't know, maybe that was a thin pack. This one feels fatter. No, it's just my sensitive fingers aged between the two grips and this one felt thicker but it isn't patrick kane slavin barry young guns mitchell chaffee uh, i think that's the second one of him i pulled i did open some retail too so I, i'm not sure if it came out of a hobby box or a retail box not that it matters and uh i don't know if i'm going to build a set declare darlene and crosby it's not that challenging, but it's challenging enough that there's other things to collect. SP Authentic is, as I'm making this video, it's just about to come out. So my attention is distracted, distracted attention. I haven't seen the product, but I'm prepping to rip some, some new stuff. Travis Monic, Ritz, Cedar. We got a Young Guns here. Let's, before we get it, let's look at Rupe Hints, Tom Wilson. Braden Shen, Vince Dunn, and Kuzmenko, speak of the devil. The old feller. 
Yeah, he had a really good year. Like I think he'll play, even though he's not qualifying for any Calder, he'll play for a few years for them. And uh, you know, the Canucks may have a good year next year. That's what they've been saying a lot lately. See, as a Leaf, growing up a Leaf fan, I heard that a lot. At least going to win the cup next year. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Maybe those flying cars will show up, too. Actually, we're getting closer on the flying cars. This is watching some cool videos. Okay, Noah Dobson. Tyler Sagan. Tavo Teravainen. Rem Pitlick. And Superstar, honor roll, Shane Wright. And he made the honor roll. It's a cool insert to have. We'll see how he pans out. Ross Colton. Nathan McKinnon. Michael Rasmussen. I guess, yeah. The uh, Kraken made the playoffs, didn't they? I think they did. Pretty sure they did. But the Canadians, mm, not so much. So if they had had Shane Wright, would they have made the playoffs? I don't know. We'll always wonder about that. They got the slaps. Slap, they got Slappy instead. Slavkovsky. Sam Carrick. Rasmus Asplund. Josh Morrissey. Lunchbox. It's a legend. Moritz Seider. I don't know how much of a legend you can be when you're only 22 or 23 years old, but you know, it's a cool card. It's cool. I like the lunch boxes. Jack Hughes. I had a lunch box growing up. I didn't use it much. I just put it on my shelf and got a Fonzie Happy Days lunch box. I had a I had a bunch of different lunch boxes, but I always took a brown bag anyway, or or a, eventually a plastic bag. I was on the dawn of the plastic bag era. Yeah, it's sad, isn't it? Ryan Bullock. Logan Couture. Philip Zadina. C-3PO. We got UD Canvas. Look at all those pucks. Holy puck! Braden Shed. I always like the canvas shots. Varlamov, Dumba, and Puyu Yarvi. Like the uh, SP Legend Signature Edition brought out the Legends canvas, and they had some really cool-looking cards in that set. Photography. It's all about the photography. Photons. Suzuki. McAvoy. Jake McCabe. Michael Granlund. Welcome to Dallas. Dallas Knights. A bunch of leprechauns back there. All that green. Yeah. Cool. We got Entwistle, Byron, and Reinhardt. I just realized how many upper deck uh, inserts. They're going horizontal on us. I was not a big fan of the horizontal inserts. And, and I don't know, maybe horizontal inserts are acceptable. I will accept those. It's the horizontal base cards. Like, I would not want a horizontal young gun. I'm still upset that Canvas McDavid is a horizontal card. That really, but, you know, the UD Canvas young guns of McDavid. If, yeah, anyway, I'll be quiet. Chris Latang, Trevor Lewis. Aaron Eckblad. World Junior Grads. Gold. I haven't pulled a gold one yet. Juicy Saros. It's a juicy card. Uh, and again, if you're going to make them gold upper deck, this is just my two cents worth. Make, put a throw a number on them. You know, I don't know. It'd probably be numbered out of 6,000, but still. Gold is supposed to be more valuable, and some people don't even realize. Derek Grant. Evander Kane. Aho. And Stahl. They're hard to notice sometimes. I just caught my eye because of the yellow on the card already. So that's, I think those are hobby only. I don't know, I, I maybe they're not. I find my hobby exclusive hits, usually three in a box. That could have qualified as one, so let's see what comes up next. Brian Rust, Nugent Hopkins, Justin Barron, Capo Caco, Jake Christensen, Rookie Portraits. Bertuzzi, Besser, and Bonino. Okay. Okay. Yep. Mercer, Ben, Hannafin, Young Guns, Ben Jones. These crazy golden helmets. I don't know. Maybe other people like them. I just, they don't need to be so shiny. Shiny. It's good for some things. Hockey cards are supposed to be shiny. Hockey helmets. Eh, not so much. Thomas. Tater Tots. Blake Wheeler. Tage Thompson. And Isaac Lundstrom. 
I don't know, like maybe they are catchy. It's just my old fashioned ways, but I'm looking at the puck, not the helmet. And those helmets, you know, everybody wants to look at something shiny and then, oh, I missed the play. Where'd the puck go? Don't distract me while I'm trying to watch hockey. That's what I'm trying to say. Anders Lee, even Bouchard, a Turi Lekkonen, Nick Paul, Judy Canvas, and that guy. Carey Price, Dylan Doody, and Vladislav Garikov. Right, moving right along. Let's just, hold on a second, I just want to do this. Yeah, just, no, that side's better. Well, yep, there he's gone. You butthead. Just my personal preference. I'm a Maple Leafs fan, if you haven't learned that already. Joe Pavelski. I know, laugh it out. Make your jokes. Type it below. Nick Dowd. But there's more of us than anything else. That's what I figure. Yankees fans and Maple Leafs fans. and I don't know who else, but we're everywhere. Prayer no witch. Oh, look at that one. Oops, sorry. To Montreal Canadiens. Young Guns acetates. For a second, the thought was Jack Eye. Ah, oh, a little bit of a letdown. Brandon Baddock. Again, Habs did not make the playoffs, and it's because of Brandon Baddock. I'm blaming him, so I'm not terribly excited about getting that. Oh, I'm, I'm lying, actually, quite pleased. Those are a case hit. You get one young guns acetate per case. Matthew Barzell, a follow Cheadle Ottinger. And I just hit a case hit. So there you go. That's also a hobby exclusive hit. I did need to look for a second at Brandon Baddock. Where, I mean, is he a grandfather yet? Like, how old is he? I don't know. Hopefully he's, hopefully he's not um, like a Nikita Sherbeck or some rookie like that. But cool. That would have been really sweet if that was the big guy. Slappy. Slap cost. I mean, let's let, let's ask for the world, why don't we? But there's a lot of people that are looking for that card, I think. Maybe. Yeah, maybe one or two. Shattenkirk. Carrier. Brandon Martour. Rantanen. Rant. Rantanen. Prefix, Walensky Portraits, Rookie, Anderson, Jones, and Hale. Yeah, a lot of people looking for the Slavkovsky clear-cut acetate. Brandon Baddock, maybe, maybe not so much. Okay. I know there's Habs collectors out there that are going to want that card. I'll trade it. Actually, I did well. I, not too long ago, I hit the Kale Flurry Young Guns acetate um, out of the SP Authentic, which, again, not a huge popular name player but it, you know Montreal logo on a card makes it somewhat desirable to a lot of people because if they're not Leafs fans a lot of people are Habs fans yeah it's the truth Chikrin Barbanan Barbanoff Bourbon Barbanoff Barabanoff Yakov Trenin Spurgeon Line Coleman Heinen and look at that sparkly sparkling blue color match Eric Shulgren I have a red of him already. I know I pulled the red out of the gravity box, fed pack box thing. So there you go. Maybe I'll go for the color wheel of Eric Schalgren when they're using Joseph Wall. And I don't know, where is Eric Schalgren? He's in the Marlies, or is he somewhere else now? Peyton Krebs. I haven't been in touch. I haven't been staying in. You know, really, I haven't watched a lot of the Marlies highlights at all this year. I've moved out west and focus has been a little bit elsewhere. Gua, Backland, Lawton. There's to go with the gold. I got the silver. I got the whole collection of UC Saros World Junior Grads cards. Okay, bucket list. Check. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, quick. Garland and McKinnon. Connor Garland. I got a really nice card of his up on uh, eBay right now. If you haven't checked out my eBay store before, go ahead and do that. It, it, there's stuff up there. I got, uh, what did I, I, I have like, it's a population two count of uh, Future Watch is inscribed autograph of Connor Garland. I'm so special. Wow. Look at me. Me, me, me. Okay, that's enough torn tooting. It's just another card. But it's a good one. I'm doing good finding it. Dyson Mayo. Panarin. Provorov. Young Guns. Yeah. I was hoping to see him again. That looks really good going next to that one. I needed that card because, you know, my very, very first box of it that I opened with this, I got him. But as it was so brand new and popular at the time, I sold it. I was, I was at a show that weekend. 
and it was just too easy to move along because it pretty much paid for the box when I sold it. Oh, yeah, I didn't mention these, uh, but this box cost me 135 Canadian. So I don't know if, again, if that's come up or gone up or down since I've made the video. I would imagine it's probably the same if, if I've seen the way the market's been going. Because uh, Series 1 is still around at the roughly the same price as it came out at. So who knows? The checklist will always determine that. And with this year's crop of rookies, I think there'll be enough of this stuff around till the new formatted Series 1 comes out in 23-24. And or extended, which I think comes out in June. I give up. I need some help here. There we go. I got it. Uh, but yeah, and again, I haven't checked out the checklist for extended if it's even out yet. Connor Sheary, Johnny T, Adrian Kempe, Alec Martinez, canvas of Joel Farabee. And, you know, sorry if I just, hold on a sec, Vasilevsky, Keegan Golazar, and David Kampf. If I just flew right past that, I've seen this card a few times already, so I didn't want to hold it and manipulate it, manhandle it too much and subject it to damage because it might be worth grading. He is the first overall pick, and I think he's going to turn out better than Laffey did. But I don't know. Let's see. Laffy came back, you know, not fully from what he was hyped up to be, but he's gained some interest again. Okay. That's enough of a moment of reflection. Let's move along. Travis Boyd. Boyd. Zach, hi, man. Jess Berry. Courtney Yemi. Oh, I like the uh, welcome twos. I like getting welcomed everywhere I go because it's not all that often that it happens. People are like, oh, it's him. And they close the door. But not L.A. Everybody's welcome in L.A. I love L.A. Brandon Carlo, Eberly Schmidt, and Adam Fox. I keep saying it. I am going to go down there. That is a true bucket list thing. I want to go down to L.A. and see some, some of them their TV shows that I grew up watching before they stopped making TV altogether. The Hollywood studios of CBS Television City. And, uh, live before a studio audience. I want to be one of those studio audiences. See what it's all about. My buddy works in the film industry, so it's no great mystery. I just want to just want to do it. I want to go and see. Mostly Jimmy Kimmel show, that, and, and The Price is Right. Those are the two I want to go see. Okay, back to cards. Dougie Hamilton. TJ Brody. John Gibson. Troy Krug. French variant. Gino Elkin. That's a cool one. Variant Francais. I'll say it in French for you. Evgeny Malkin. There. That wasn't too hard. The backside, mm, not so much. I'll try it, but will I? Malkin se retrouve avec uh, 702 mention de de a mil, no, I, well, 1146, I think. Uh, point en carrière à l'issue de la saison 21-22. I said it with an accent, so it sounded better. Ce qui lui donne le troisième rang de dans l'histoire de l'équipe de la Pittsburgh, il a inscrit sa sept centième aide dans la LNH le 9 avril quand les penguin, penguins, or like quand les penguins, ont dispute un match a domicile contre le capitre. That's the most French I've ever spoke or read since grade 12 when I got sent out of class and never went back. Well, I did, but it was because the school year was over and I was skipped off the last two classes. But anyway, that's my problems. Okay, well, cool. French. Rhino. Zegris. Mark Giordano. Sorry if I've just... I probably just lost the last one person that was watching by doing that. Unless he's French, and or they're laughing their head off right now, because that probably sounded so funny. I would love to know what a really bad French reading person sounds like within their, my accent. Adam Lowry, Adam Larson, Josh Norris, Young Guns, Ethan Prowl. Is that the last one to hit? I think so. I haven't got uh, a count, counter going. I can only get six in a box. Actually, I might get a seven. Eli Tovenin, Jarvis, Dreisaitl, and Richie. Let's do a quick review because i got four packs there. Three, four, five. There is one more. 
It will be a seven young gun box. Cool. Well, because that's technically an insert, but it's a young guns insert. Hampus Lindholm, Peter Engvall, Riley Smith, Steven Stamkos, Lunchbox. Time is with Elias Lindholm, Calgary Flames, Lunchbox legend. Okay, this is throwing me off because I got the French one there. There. Marceau, Hornquist, and Bunting. Kopechny, Voracek, Yanni Gourd, Superstar Honor Roll, Matty Sogard, Kuznetsov, Shabbat, Kapajo, and Ghost Despair, Shane and Ghost Despair, Shane Ghost Bear, Ghosts and Bears, together in one name. I like that card of Swayman. He's focused in on something. Maybe he's just waiting for the puck to drop. Who knows? Checklist. Or rat. Jordan Greenway. Oh, look at that. It's an eight young guns box. I spoke too soon. Linus Van Pelt. Holmberg. Hol Holberg. Linus Holberg from Sweden. Just a bit younger than Kuzmenko. So I don't think he's a superstar. But he is a young gun. I said it before and I say it again. I want Upper Deck to change the young guns name to young uns. Drop the G, make a young uns little apostrophe there. Then you're politically correct, correct, and you can represent the French guys on the same box. Like you say, young uns, right? It'd be like young ones. Okay, carry on. Me and my wonderful ideas. I like them. I like them a lot. Try to start that petition. Get rid of guns. Ban guns everywhere. At least in hockey cards. Like, like I say, the Washington Wizards. They got rid of their name, right? So upper deck after. Well, when did they start it? Very first year, 30 plus years, 35 years. I've been using young guns. And I always said, when you get a young guns goalie, like he isn't a gunner. He's a wall. It's supposed to be, right? So I just include everybody, right? Everybody wear a rainbow. Oh, sorry. Okay, sorry. Carry on. Last pack. Thanks for watching. Malkin, Gladar, Nyquist, young guns, Kevin Mandelese. Mandelese, Mandelese. Right on. You're no Maddie Sogard, but you're from Blainville, Quebec. I didn't know that. Huh. Maybe I did, and I just completely forgot. More likely. Jake Brusk, Mac Shane, Brian McClint, Jan Hoser. Thanks again for watching, folks. I will, as I say, hopefully get this stuff up on eBay pretty quick. Or you can always directly contact me through my web page by standingovation.com, emailing me questions at standingovation.com. And or just uh, type a link or comment below and I'll see it and I'll reply and thumbs up and all that. Thanks for watching. Standing ovation out.